Okay, now let's calculate trig ratios using the special right triangles, which are these two right here, the 30, 60, 90, and the 45, 45, 90. Okay, so we're going to need SOKATOA to determine the ratios. And what does that mean again? That sine is opposite of our hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent opposite over adjacent. So starting with sine of pi over 6. Now, I'm also going to assume that you remember how to convert de degrees into radians and vice versa. 45 degrees is pi over 4. Pi over 4 over here as well. 30 degrees is pi over 6. 60 degrees is pi over 3. Okay, so sine of pi over 6. So sine, pi over 6 is 30, so we're going to take this angle right here. And sine is equivalent to opposite over hypotenuse. The opposite side is this one right here, because it's opposite to the 30 degree angle. So that's just going to be 1 over the hypotenuse, and the hypotenuse of this triangle is this side right here, which measures 2. So sine pi over 6 is just 1 over 2, half. That's it. Okay, how about the cosine of pi over 4? Now we're going to need to use this triangle. Pi over 4 is just 45 degrees. And cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. The adjacent is this side, right? The side directly beside the angle, but it's not the hypotenuse, of course. So the adjacent measures 1. And the hypotenuse is this side right here, which measures the square root of 2. That's it. So the cosine of pi over 4 is equal to 1 over the square root of 2. Many teachers will want you to rationalize the denominator. And that means to multiply it by the square root of 2 over the square root of 2. 1 times root 2 is just root 2 over root 2 times root 2 is just root 4, which is 2. So that's just the square root of 2 over 2. If you're not clear about this, I would suggest that you check out rationalizing the, the denominator. We have that on our website. Finally, we have the tangent of pi over 3. Pi over 3 is right here. And the tangent is opposite. It's equal to opposite over adjacent. The opposite to pi over 3 is this side right here, which measures the square root of 3. And the adjacent side will be this one, which measures just 1. So the tangent of pi over 3 measures just the square root of 3. That's it. And I suggest that you try many of these to become confident. And good luck.